This woman, identified as F in court documents, was interning as a pastoral agent at the Archdiocese of Quebec between 2008 and 2010. Et là, il m'a grippé, et là, les mains dans le dos, qui sont descendues quand même assez basses. Assez envahissant pour quelqu'un qui est mon supérieur, <laughs> qui est l'archevêque de Québec. On several occasions, she says Cardinal Marc Ouellet acted inappropriately with her. Ça allait comme un peu en, en gradation, en augmentant. C'était de plus en plus euh, envahissant, de plus en plus intense. The woman describes shoulder massages, hugs, and Willette stroking her back down towards her buttocks. On one occasion, she alleges the cardinal told her it was the second time they had seen each other that week, and he might as well kiss her on the cheek again, adding there was no harm in treating himself a little. She says it made her uncomfortable to be thought of as a treat. Je me suis mis à arrêter d'aller aux événements, à essayer d'éviter le plus possible d'être en sa présence. Today, F is an applicant in a class action lawsuit authorized against the Archdiocese of Quebec. She shared her story with Radio Canada's investigative program Enquête. Those comments match the content of the application. She didn't want to speak out about what was happening while she was working with him. C'était celui qui, au bout de mes deux heures de stage, allait signer ou non mon contrat de comme mandaté comme agent de pastoral. The alleged incidents came to an end in 2010 when Wallet was called back to Rome and promoted. According to court documents, the woman describes having an encounter with another priest, which prompted her 10 years later to contact the Advisory Committee on Sexual Abuse at the Archdiocese of Quebec. She says the committee encouraged her to file a complaint. Her complaint against Cardinal Wallet was sent directly to Rome in 2021. One of the lawyers involved in the class action says there hasn't been a resolution. Uh, it was, of course, in, inappropriate and sexual touching, and it's been one year and a half that an investigation started, but there is no conclusion. In a statement to Radio Canada, the Archdiocese of Quebec says it takes note of the allegations against Cardinal Wallet, but it won't comment further. Madame Ours, CBC News, Montreal. Now, given all that, this is an excellent time to bring in Megan Williams, CBC's Rome correspondent. Uh, we're very lucky to have you here. I know you watch the Vatican extremely closely. C can you give us a sense of how important Cardinal Ouellette is to the Catholic Church? Well, Cardinal Ouellette is a very important figure at the Vatican. He is Canada's longest standing cardinal. He's, he was elected, uh, he became a cardinal under John Paul II almost 20 years ago. Uh, he was considered what they call in Rome papabile, which is a papal contender, both in the 2005 and 2013 conclave when you elect a new pope. And he has been the head of the Congregation of Bishops, that's the global head of of, uh, of, bishop, of like 5,600 bishops around the world for the past 12 years. And in that role, he meets with Pope Francis about once a week. So he has the Pope's ear. So he has the Pope's ear. He has the profile. If you take that into consideration, what is your instinct about what, if anything, we'll hear from the Vatican about this? Well, it's interesting because the Pope held a summit on the issue of sex abuse, a bishop summit in uh, 2019. And shortly after, he introduced protocols around the world uh, to dioceses saying, look, if someone comes and complains about sex abuse by a priest or someone in, 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 a, in a church, this is what you do. And, and the, the whole idea was to provide a transparent, easy to access, uh, an easy to access process to, to make a complaint. And at the time, Cardinal Ouellette commented on that, and he said, this isn't just for minors. This isn't just if kids are abused, but this is for any abuse of authority. So if there's a priest abusing a nun or a priest or a nun abusing a layperson, which the case that he's facing now that he's involved in and has been uh, accused of could come under that category. That said, uh, the Vatican, as we know, has been extremely slow in, in dealing with all sorts of cases and the Pope has kept uh, high, high up people like Cardinal George Pell of Australia in his position as finance minister until very serious accusations against him uh, were, uh, were moved forward. So slow and not very talkative. No. All right, Megan Williams, always a pleasure to see you. Thank you. Thanks, Adrian.